now we have breaking news. They're still counting the votes in those two all-important Senate races in Georgia. But a few hours ago, CBS News did make a projection in one of the races. With 98% of the vote counted, the Democratic candidate, Reverend Raphael Warnock, has defeated Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler. The latest tally is Warnock ahead 50.6% to Loeffler's 49.4%. Warnock spoke last night. We were told that we couldn't win this election. But tonight, we prove that with hope, hard work, and the people by our side, anything is possible. The other race remains too close to call at this hour. With 98% of the vote in, Democrat John Ossoff leads Republican Senator David Perdue with just over 50% of the vote to Perdue's 49.8%. The results come as President Trump and his allies look to disrupt today's certification of November's presidential vote. CBS 2's Deborah Alfaron has more from Washington. Chris and Mary, it's usually a formality, but today here in Congress, it could shape up to be a contentious day. Thousands of President Trump supporters have come to Washington, D.C. to protest the electoral results in a joint session of Congress today. The electoral vote count is usually a formality, but today more than a dozen Republican senators and roughly 100 House Republicans plan to contest the results from three to six battleground states. They're supporting President Trump's unsupported claim of widespread spread voter fraud. What usually happens is that lawmakers read the results from each state. Then the vice president announces the final tally. But it's not clear what Vice President Mike Pence will do or even can do. I hope that our great vice president, our great vice president comes through for us. He's a great guy. Of course, if he doesn't come through, I won't like him quite as much. That was the president at a rally in Georgia on Monday. He followed up that sentiment yesterday, tweeting falsely that the vice president has the power to reject fraudulently chosen electors. Election law expert David Becker. The vice president's role during this joint session of Congress is entirely ceremonial. He basically operates like a host at the Oscars would. His role is to open up envelopes and, and count what's in there. It is highly unlikely the opposition will have an impact on the count. The Democrat-controlled House is expected to vote down the challenges. Several Senate Republicans have also spoken out strongly against the objections. And the debate could go on for 12 hours, maybe even longer. On Capitol Hill, Deborah Alfaron, CBS 2 News.